If a refrigerator is not cooling properly, you should first confirm the appliance is periodically defrosting and the evaporator fan motor is running. The next step is to confirm the compressor is receiving the proper voltage to operate. You can use a multimeter to conduct the test, although not all refrigerator compressors can be tested for incoming voltage. While a compressor can be found on the top of the appliance for built-in refrigerators, nearly all models have the compressor located at the bottom rear of the appliance, behind an access panel. You will need to pull the refrigerator away from the wall and remove the access panel to reach the compressor. Be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord before beginning any disassembly. Disconnect the compressor's incoming power connector or wires. After inspecting the refrigerator's tech sheet or the compressor itself for a voltage designation, set the multimeter to volts AC or volts DC as required. Plug the appliance's power cord back in. Since the refrigerator now has power, avoid touching any components with your hands. Contact the black meter lead to one of the power input connector pins or wires and the red lead to the other pin or wire. The meter display should indicate that voltage is present, although you may need to wait for the control board to send power to the compressor circuit to see a reading. Be aware that some compressors use variable voltage so the reading may change during the testing. If voltage is reaching the compressor, the start relay, or the compressor itself could be responsible for the cooling problem. If no voltage is present, then the main control board or inverter board is likely defective and will need to be replaced.